Um, Ms. Gloria Lim, the CEO of SIC, will now deliver the closing remarks. Gloria. Distinguished members of the SIAC board and court, speakers, guests, ladies and gentlemen, as well as our online attendees joining us from all over the world. We have now come to the close of the inaugural SIAC Symposium 2022. We hope you have found today's sessions insightful and enriching. We started the day looking outward at the big picture of what is happening globally, starting with the minister's Q&A session with Lucy and the discussion on international arbitration charting the next lap led by Toby, which drew insights on how international arbitration and its practice must continue to adapt, innovate, and respond to the changing economic, social, and geopolitical realities. We looked inward at ourselves as a community, exploring the ethical issues and dilemmas arbitration practitioners and tribunals tussle with in an increasingly complex landscape and the timeless values that we must continue to uphold as an arbitration community to ensure that user trust in the arbitration system remains strong. We gained inspiration over the course of lunch, hearing how the practice of international arbitration continues to shape, be shaped by generations of practitioners honing their craft and seeking to make things better. We obtained valuable ideas and input on the next phase of development for SIAC's rules and how SIAC as an institution can continue to improve and innovate to serve our users globally. And lastly, we just entered into an exploration of the brave new world of tech, Web 3.0, the metaverse, cryptocurrency, and NFTs, and its implications for arbitration. With the challenges posed by the pandemic, it has not been easy putting together a large-scale physical conference. Today's event would not have been possible without the invaluable support and contributions of all our speakers, as well as the generosity of our sponsors and the help from supporting organizations. A shout out also to the excellent SIAC organizing team who have made all the arrangements today possible. Most of all, I would like to thank you, our delegates, institutional partners and friends from all over the world for taking the time to be here, joining us in person and online to be a part of this inaugural SIEC symposium. We are greatly heartened to have you here with us today and we appreciate your presence. It is with delight that we close today with cocktails and a very special YSIC band performance. I would also like to invite our online attendees to stay on and join us for the online networking with the Secretariat led by Kevin over Zoom. I wish everyone a pleasant evening ahead and let the party begin. Thank you.